welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Bella and I'm a zero based cash budgeter. On my channel, I do it all from budget breakdowns, sinking funds, savings challenges, and from celebrating successes to accepting defeat and starting over. We are all on different chapters of our budgeting journeys, but at the same time, we're all a community and we celebrate the wins and defeats together. So thank you so much for being here with me and for being a part of my support system and my team. I definitely appreciate each and every one of you. So last night I did upload my budget breakdown. So if you've gotten a chance to see that, awesome. If not, you can check that out. It will be linked at in the, in the description below. Um, I want to give you guys a quick apology for my hands. They are so dry and so sore. They're cracking and I mean you know actually you know what I was thinking about it um when it comes to like self-care what's your favorite way to treat yourself in the past I've got my nails done I got my nails done for my sister's wedding and even though I paid 60 bucks to have them done I still went out and bought ten dollar press-ons to put on over top um I've had I, I get my hair done I wouldn't say frequently but I would say often it's like the one big go-to thing I, I do and also once I've gotten my eyelashes tinted and curled and although that process kind of sucked because um the way they do it like I can't tell you how they do it my eyes were closed but um I think that they like pulled the my eyelashes on my one eye too far up and so when they put the chemical on to darken my lashes it like burned my eyes, like the vapor of it burned my eyes, but I loved how it looked while I had it. Um, but yeah, no, so uh, the reason I was thinking about it is, first of all, cause my hands are so ugly and I was thinking, oh my gosh, well, like I know a big thing with um, cash stuffing YouTubers anyways is their nails. A lot of them have like the nails, they like to tap on things and stuff and really pretty nails. I just, I can't keep them, they just break. Um, and to get to like to pay to have nails put on just to break them would just be silly or worse they don't break and they just hurt that I just couldn't do it so I want to know what your favorite favorite way of treating yourself is um, be it your nails your hair uh, do you go for spa treatments or facials I've never done either of those spa treatments and facials they sound really fun but I've never done it um, I've gotten a pedicure one time. I didn't mind that. Uh, I felt it was kind of weird to spend all that money to have your feet done when nobody ever sees your feet except for in the middle of the summer. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments below your favorite way to treat yourself. Um, and is it something you budget for? So like, like I said, I'm, uh, the reason I was thinking about it is I'm going to get my hair done on the 27th and I'm so excited. Um, I got my hair done last in October um, so it's only been a couple months but the time before that it had been over a year so my hair was pretty much back to virgin color and everything and it's funny because every now and again I have to keep my hair natural and it's just I'm a natural blonde but it's just such a dull blonde Anyway, yeah, comments below. Let me know your favorite way to treat yourself. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing my cash stuffing. Um, we'll start as usual with a cash count. I did go over the numbers a little bit after I finished my budget breakdown and I decided that um, as much as I really want to, because my son's soccer is due soon, like his money for soccer, I'm going to, and his dad actually sent his half for soccer. So I'm actually going to send um, the money to soccer instead of paying for the mechanic this round. I did just pay them 60 and I they never, they haven't even given me an invoice yet. So I don't even know what my oil change cost yet. So I'm just gonna wait and I'm kind, I kind of feel like if you're not gonna tell me how much I owe you, I can put it off a little bit. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing my cash stuffing. I believe the amount I'm stuffing is 685 we'll do a quick cash count just to make sure uh so we'll do that now so we got 51 52 53 54 20 40 60 85 20 40 60 86 10 20 30 40 no <laughs> 10 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Good thing I caught myself there. We're just talking about making mistakes in my last video. <laughs> All right, so we got 685. And once again, I'm going to make a valiant effort to use my cash tray. You know, the way I see it is I did spend money on it. I should probably be using it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disliking it as much as I used to. I think it's just about getting used to it, trying to figure out where it fits in the shots and stuff. I'm just, I'm just not used to working with so many, um, I want to call them props, but I kind of use everything that's here. So I'm just not used to having so much stuff here. Um, so I'm going to start my variable expenses because, well, that's what I'm going to start. That's, you know, the thing that gets spent first, um, the thing that gets spent most often and is the thing that's most carefully budgeted. Well, let's get started. All right. So with groceries, I've done my normal 150. So we got 50, 1, 20, 40, 5, 50. Last week, I was definitely under because I had to go to a grocery store I'm not used to. So I was like in rebellion. I was like, I am not spending any more than I have to. Um, so... <laughs> I sure showed them. All right, so we got for gas, we're doing 150 as well. So we got 50, 1, 20, 40, 5, and 50. I think February, I'm going to try um, what I was saying about putting my gas budget on my credit card or leaving it in my account. Just because, like I said, I live in a small town and I get really tired of when I pump gas and I go in to pay and I hand them money and they're like, do you not have a card? And I'm like, if I, if I had a card, I would have brought you my card. Uh, I just, I, I, it's just so exhausting. <laughs> um, and then for dining out, so we got 50 today. So we're gonna do 20, 25 and five. I'm not planning anything too crazy this weekend gonna go up to my hometown get my son's birthday gift my son or my since it was storming last weekend my sister didn't have to buy food so I'm gonna try to be like hey you remember how you budgeted money to take my son and I out for dinner well I think you should uh hold up your end <laughs> so we'll see how that goes all right for pets I'm budgeting 30 I've got a puppy who's a little overweight and uh I've gotta I gotta change her food and Hope for the best. Ugh, it's just, it's so hard because it's not like you can tell a dog that she's overweight, right? You just, you just have to take the actions and hope they go along with it. Uh, beauty, I'm not budgeting. It's actually fully stuffed. And medical, I'm not budgeting. It's got 15. I consider 30 fully stuffed, but I didn't have the extra money today, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, now we have sinking funds. So in my sinking funds binder, we've got my car, which I've decided not to put money into this time around. We've got my son. So I sent uh, $70 to his school for his hot dog day, his fundraiser and his field trip. So we're going to be doing 30 today and that's toward, well, that's to go toward his um, birthday party. I'm going to grab like stuff for loot bags and stuff, but I'm also going to be using $5 for his hockey, which on Fridays we have to pay. It's called stick and puck and it's five bucks a person. Um, in personal, I know this really seems kind of selfish, but like I said, it's my one, one time to treat myself. So I'm going to be budgeting 150. I've upped it a little bit. I did originally have it budgeted for 145, but with it being a new year, I don't know if the salon's prices have changed at all. And I really don't want to be the person that comes up short or can't afford a tip because it's, you know, this, this person that does my hair, she's been doing my hair for like seven or eight years and she never messes up. Like she listens to what I want and she does it. It's she even accepts me in my, she always calls because I have, I have side bangs. So she always calls them my emo bangs, but it's, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, so fun. I am not budgeting. Vacay. I am not budgeting. 
gifts I am budgeting, or sorry, stuffing. I already budgeted, but stuffing, and I am stuffing just a 50 today. And that would put us up, sorry, my cat's just walking on everything. So we got 50, 65, 75. 75 now, what I'm thinking his stuff is gonna cost. I know for part one, it's about 50, and then part two is TBD, because I don't know what part two is yet. <laughs> All right, and then we're going on to some savings challenges. I did think, I'm so sorry, my cat is just going crazy. Um, I did think about leaving the savings challenges for when I have unstuffings or bonus cash, but then I thought, wait a minute, I got the child tax. Well, I have, I, it, I, yeah, I got the child tax. I, it hasn't actually come in yet. So the way I thought was, my child tax is 520 and all of the, thing, the things that come off of my account on the on Monday, so I've got my tax-free savings account, which is 100, my insurance, which is 145, my life insurance, which is 50, and then I've got money in my account for the dentist appointment, which is on the 23rd, and I have money in my account for my car payment. So I figured if I take everything out that I need now, then when that money comes out automatically, the CCB will already be in there and it'll, you know, I'm not taking money I didn't have. I just, I'm just basically taking money that's going to be replaced literally tomorrow for the purpose of filming this and having it up at a reasonable hour. That's all. Um, I'm not really breaking any rules. I have, I'm not really cheating the system at all. I'm just being strategic. Okay. So <clears throat> I've got 24. 40, 55, did I, oh, I also have to take 20, I have to take 30 out for my sister because she requested it in cash. I was like, whoa, I feel like I have a lot of money over here. So 20, 35, 45, 45 is what we have left. So that is what we're going to be stuffing into our cash challenges. So for month ahead insurance, I'm going to do two, um, two majiggers and they're each worth 10. So I'm going to be putting a 20 in today and we'll pick some colors. Nope. Not that color. I guess we'll do a green. I just, like I said, I need to get rid of this one. I just haven't yet, but I need to get rid of it because it's too pastel-y. Like it's, it's too light. And I feel like when the light's on, you can't even see that it's been colored. So... This is probably the last time you're going to see this green because if I remember, I'm going to get rid of it. Like, I'm sorry. It's just, it's nice color. It just isn't bright enough. Like you guys probably can't even see that. If you can, great, but I don't think you can. <laughs> but I love this blue. This is a really pretty blue. Nice and bright. Very pretty color. All right, there we go. So now while we let that dry, we'll do a quick count. So we're at 20, 40, 50, 5, 60, which looks like it's correct. So we'll put that back in here. All right, and then we're gonna do uh, two of these ones. So these are for my pay, my month ahead phone bill. So my phone bill is $90 a month. I know it's, well, it depends on who you are, if it's expensive or cheap, but, um, so I need to put $10 in here. So I'm going to do two fives. So we're at, well, I'll count it after I'm going to color it first so it can dry. <laughs> so, ugh. You see this color? Okay. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's vibrant and bright. It wasn't the one I thought it was. I thought it was the other pink one, but oh well. We'll just use it on this one too. Why not? What I need to do is I need to just pick one color instead of doing the back and forth thing, but I really like color. I was that, that person in high school that every line in my notes was a different color. I was obnoxious, but I just love color. All right, so 
we are currently at 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 45. It's what we're adding here, which looks like it's about right. Get in there. Okay. Then we're going to do one of these. Like I said, it I really want to fill up the first, like the front ones first, because then I can get them out of the way and focus on the other ones. Um, so I'm going to be coloring a house today. I did orange last time. We did a green one last time. Okay, we'll do this one here. This is a different pink. Yeah, it is. Okay. I need to get some purples or something. I don't like pink. <laughs> okay, we'll color that. And then we've got 15, and that's going to go in there. This 10 has never been folded, which makes me happy. All right, and we'll do a quick count. So my rent is 300 a month. So once I'm done this challenge, this will be 300. Actually, once I'm done this challenge, I believe it's gonna be 360. So anyway, we've got 20, 40, 55, 65, 75. So I think that makes us 75, 150, 225, 300 so we're a quarter of the way there all right so we'll throw that back in here all right there we go so we are at the end of cash stuffing of the day thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting my channel um and I will be seeing you guys again soon. I believe, so my next payday is February 2nd. Um, I was just looking to see if I had any other government money before that. Okay, so I will be seeing you guys next on the 31st of January when I do my unstuff. No, sorry, the 30th of January when I do my unstuffing. Then on the 31st, I will be doing my budget breakdown. And then on the 1st of February, I will be doing my next cash stuffing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any friends who are interested in cash stuffing, feel free to share this video with them as well. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time.